Hello everyone, welcome to another Polygore Media Destiny 2 guide. My name is Port Scientist 7 and I will, well, be your guide. So, as you can see, the pyramid ships have made their way to Mercury, Titan, and Mars. So, today is Bungie Day, July 7th, and Moments of Triumphs have released, as well as a new quest called Growth. The growth quest is the Ruinous Effigy, and today's guide will be basically more of a formative guide than anything. I'm not going to be like showing every bit of, you know, step by step, you know, all my gameplay and all this and all that, but I will give you some tips on my personal experience of doing it, and of course, what might be your most efficient way of getting everything completed. So first off, you want to head to the Recaster. Pick up your interference mission and your growth mission for the effigy. So let's head on over there. All right. Now we're at the tower. Let's head over to that recaster. Now, here it is, the first means to an end. You need to have to, you have to do your interference mission as part of the first growth. Um, what's it called? Ah, objective, that's it. Your first objective, the interference mission, which, you know, if you've been doing it every week, it should be a piece of cake. First thing you gotta do is your contact mission. So, this week's contact mission is on Mars. It's no longer on Io, it's on Mars, which is kind of odd. But once you get your contact mission done and the other event material, which is you need to do Reckoning. Well, not Reckoning, Gambit. It's Gambit and Escalation Protocols. You can now get the Interference mission. And once you finish the Interference mission, that really actually kicks off the quest from there. To be honest, it was short, simple, to the point. And we can all get it done. So I went ahead, completed all that for your, and I got boot. Uh, note to self, everyone: do not stand where Zavala um, decides to, you know, transmat in. He will kill you. Apparently, that's his spot to stand now. I stood too close to Eris, and he did not like that. But hey, first time I've seen Zavala off-world in a while. But look at that. Have a look at the latest. As you can see, right past the ball, there's a nice little white branch. So that's a little new item, basically, we're going to be picking up. That is the gift from the darkness, as you can say. You're playing a dangerous game. But you do it this way. The messages you've decrypted have proved invaluable. Now we know how our enemy thinks. Tell me, what did the pyramids intend to exploit our curiosity? We used their gift against them. And if it proves unwieldy? Then it will be surrendered to the vanguard for contamination. Hmm. And what of the hive? Sabatoon will not confront us directly. That is not her way. She thinks too much of herself, and too little of others. Thank you. I look forward to your next report. Drift away. Well, it's the drifter. He doesn't like paperwork, and he doesn't like the vanguard, so. So, as you see there, there's that little white branch off to my right. Pick that up, and as soon as you you, you get your next objective for the actual quest line. What's that? growth. You need to find the 25 calcified light fragments and defeat 15 of Savathun's marionettes. Um, for this quest step, I actually recommend that you go to each planet and pick up the calcified fra um, light fragments first. They're quite easy to get. All you need to do is pull out your ghost and your ghost will basically kind of like show an icon. It's a diamond 
with a small white diamond in it. And that is the next thing. So I will show you real quick on the map here. Now, let's take a quick look at the map on IO and I'll direct you what's in each area. In this first area, as you can see, there's about three calcified light fragments. In the next one, another three. And then this area, four. So IO has about 10. So which kind of makes you think about there's probably about five on each of the other planets. So on Titan, in the first area um, that you spawn in, has about two, and then when it comes to the rig, it's about three. Kind of located off to the side. Then when we go up to Mercury, you have uh, most of them are actually located um, near the initial spawn point on Mercury, the first four. The next one is kind of located down to the south, right around this area. And that's, that's another five. Got it done quickly. Honestly, it only took me about 10 minutes to pick all these up. And then on Mars, you have about, what, three in the Break Tech Future Escape. And about another two down in the Glacier Drift. And they're not too far apart. You'll pick them up on your nav. And then once you're done with that, I suggest going to Io and killing the Marinettes in the what, Lost Oasis area. Once you kill them all in that area, get all 15 kills, they spawn quite regularly, you will get the next quest step for growth, which requires you to do either Gambit or Reckoning, getting Void kills, Precision kills, and just completing the matches all together. I went ahead and done some Reckoning, and actually, in just about a second, you're going to see the end result of me playing about, about an hour I Reckoning. Use a Void Pulse Rifle. It's actually a really good idea. Use a Void um, subclass, I use tether and void grenades, and that will get you through. Every completion on tier 3 is about 20 to 30 percent, and once you get it done, you get a engram drop, and all you have to do is head back to the recaster. Once you're here, you just go into the recaster, and as you see, the ruinous effigy will be waiting for you. Honestly, this is just a quick, you know, my personal interpretation and location. I'm not good. Uh, we will have for the um, calcified light, light fragments later um, a more in-depth guide to each location because some people apparently have some trouble finding them. But, you know, I had a few, a problem few finding a few myself, you know. But, you know, overall it's pretty easy. You just need to, one, it's actually better if you do it with fire team. This whole quest was pretty grindy. I did the first half with a friend. And honestly, this is kind of bad for me to say, but after um, my friend left, I actually got it done much faster. So, but you know, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, I will say that this weapon is actually pretty cool. I tested it out a little bit on the PVE. Haven't used it in PVP yet. And I actually quite curious on how well it'll work in the raids. So this is a quick foreigner of guide. This is my own personal opinion. This is you know just how to get some things wrong. I hope you like it. I felt a little. I was a little rushed. I was trying to get this to be good, and some of my footage actually kind of did not film at all. So hope you like the guide. Um, basically, yeah, that is all I have to say to today. This is Port Science Citizen. I hope you. Enjoy the video. I hope you like, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell for more videos, and trust me, we we do some pretty good videos, and we'll have a calcified light fragment guide video for each location coming in the near future.